Place the year wheel board in the middle of the table with the phase marker on the first pit water field and the year marker on the first year. Set up the development board with four rows of the hexagon tiles, one row of each color, yellow, gray, green, and brown. Place the assist tiles next to each row. In a two-player game, set up three tiles of each color, four of each in a three-player game, and all five of each in a four-player game. There are also advanced variant setups in the back of the rulebook. Get the action markers and buildings that correspond to the development tiles in play and place them near the board. In a two to three player game, return the extra development tiles and corresponding action markers and buildings to the box. Put the coins, debt chits, resources, pit water, and the coal miner and Haspel connected tiles in piles near the board. Resources and pit water are unlimited. Each player gets a player board, 18 coal cubes, and 11 player discs of their color. Put the coal cubes on the indicated spaces on the player board. Each player puts one of their player pieces on the 0-50 spot of the year wheel board. Randomly determine the player order and place player discs on the turn order chart accordingly. Take the resource boards with the player symbol less than or equal to the number of players and set them in the middle of the table. To set up the drawing bag, take a number of action discs depending on the number of players and place them in the bag. For two players, take seven black, seven brown, and four yellow. For three players, take ten black, ten brown, and seven yellow. For four players, take thirteen black, thirteen brown, and ten yellow. Shuffle the discs in the bag. For each reserve pool on the left of the resource boards, draw three action discs from the bag and place them in the reserve pool. For each action pool on the right, draw six action discs from the bag and place them on the action pool. Before spring and autumn, each player receives a pit water. The pit water either goes in the player's pinch if the pinch has not been exhausted, or in the shaft area. At the beginning of each action phase, all players return all their used and unused action discs into the drawing bag. Move the three discs in each reserve pool to the corresponding action pool. Then for each reserve pool, draw three action discs from the bag and put them in the reserve pool. For each action pool that has less than six discs, draw discs from the bag and put them in the action pool until there are six discs there. If one or more boards has more than six discs, then the final resource board will have fewer than six discs. When a player's pinge is exhausted, which means all the coal is removed, the player receives two points if it was the first year, and one point if it was the second year. Move the pit water from the pinge to their shaft and return all the wood to the supply. The player receives the coal miner and Haspel connected tile, placing it on their player board over the coal digger and pinge area. Now the player can excavate coal from the tunnel. These are the development tiles you can get during the game. The action discs required are shown in the top, either specific colored ones or gray, which can be any color. When you get the development tile, you get the bonus from the tile. The bonuses are one-time bonuses, prolonged bonuses, actions, buildings, and or end game scoring bonuses. This gives you one coin. You choose to either get three wood and one pit water or one coin. You can immediately exchange either one coal for one coin or two coal for one coin and one food. In either case, the coal comes from your farm area. You get one coin. At the end of the game, you get one additional point for each mining symbol on development tiles you own. You get two coal cubes and a wood from the general supply. The coal cubes go in your shaft. At the end of the game, you get one additional point for each empty section in your tunnel with the lorry symbol. You get one food. At the end of the game, you get one additional point for each fork symbol on development tiles you own. You get three coins. You get the tile with the improved farmhand, replacing the farmhand. This worker can either get resources, do the coal action, or get a development tile for his action. You cannot use the improved farmhand until the next phase. If you own this, you do not get a pit water during the pit water phases before spring and autumn. You get one coin and one food. Each winter phase, instead of scoring coal normally, you get one point for each coal you have on your farm. These tiles give you buildings. When you get one of these developments, take the associated building and add it to your player board. You can begin using the building in the next phase. This building allows you to store one additional wood, coal, or food unit in the winter. If you store food here, you get two points. Once per phase, you can use this building to exchange two wood for two coal and one victory point. You get the coal from the general supply. You do not need to do this during the planning phase, so wood that you got from a resource action can immediately be used if you have a charcoal burner. The coal storage building lets you store one unit of coal and one unit of wood in the winter phase. If you store coal here, you get one point. The water mill can be used in action phases by placing action discs on it during the planning phase. You can either use two yellow action discs to get one food and two points, or two black action discs to get one coin. These tiles give you action markers. When you get one of these, you get the associated action marker, which can be used once at any time in a later phase. Once you use the action marker, return it to the general supply. This action lets you remove one pit water and get one point. This action marker can be used as a yellow action disc. Also, at the end of the game, you get one additional point for each empty section in your coal tunnel with the cart symbol. This action marker can be used as a brown action disc. When you get this development, you can immediately remove one pit water. The action marker can be used to activate the Haspel Connect to do three reeling actions without pay. This is moving the coal from the shaft to the farm area. This means he could be activated twice that phase if he was also paid. You get one coin. 
The action marker can be used to exchange one action disc in a reserve pool with one action disc in the corresponding action pool. Also at the end of the game, you get one additional point for each empty section in your coal tunnel with the oil lamp symbol. You get one wood. Then you can immediately move either one coal from the pinch to your farm, or one coal from the tunnel to the shaft. In either case, the coal must be accessible. You also get this action marker, which can be used as a black action disc.